Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 2, this is episode 11. So last time we found the transport in the CEC facility that could take us to the government sector, however, the tracks are blocked, presumably by a very large necromorph. So we're trying to find out what the obstruction is, and continue on our way. So we came from that way, which means we don't have to go back that way. Alright, I did just heal there, but then I didn't remember what kind of medkit I had, so I might have just wasted one. And let's see, it's been about two weeks since I recorded the last episode. Yep, Ellie, that is a big necromorph. Transport door. It's wrapped around a big tank. A big tank? Nitrogen trichloride. Those explode if they overheat. Oh, I was gonna say you're n that's not the answer, but it actually is the answer because we're damaging it. So I guess we just hit it with a bunch of explosions? Alright, so yeah, it's been about two weeks, so we have the plasma cutter, the detonator, which served us pretty well in the last episode, the contact beam, and the ripper. Uh, I can't even go down. I guess we just shoot it? Oh, there's a dispenser here. Spence another one, or was there? Yeah, okay. Should <laughs> wait. I take it we need to destroy this before we can go down. That worked. We're moving again. We'll wait for you up ahead. All right, I see you. I'll meet you there. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to destroy that other one. It's a little close to the transport, though. Uh, I feel like it's not okay, gonna let us go. Get ready. One more. What? Are you crazy? That one in the middle. If you set that off, it will incinerate everything in here. Yep, that's the idea. Oh, tripod. I wasn't expecting it, but I should have because this looks like an arena. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Okay, Ripper is not the good weapon that I'm gonna use here. Uh, detonators also maybe not great. He said in complete disbelief that it just fucking took its head off. Wow. Look out! There's more coming from. Oh well. All right, let's hurry. I wonder if the first one we fought was more of a boss, or these things are actually just not as strong as I thought. Or the detonator is just amazing. Okay. Did not skeet him that time. So I guess a few explosions will soften him up. Okay, that was a stupid idea. I think... I thought I saw a smaller necromorph drop in, but... He's dead. Though I get the feeling that they might just keep coming. And I just have to hurry up with this explosive. Yep. I mean, he actually doesn't seem great at attacking me if I keep moving, because he just keeps trying to jump on me. Okay, that's way too close. I don't really know how to get out of here. The elevator is broken. Gotta get this way. There's something really silly about everything exploding around you and you just take this slow ass little elevator. <laughs> Time to go. Oh, 
I bet the explosion will make it go faster. And we're safe. In another situation, I might admire your persistence, Mr. Clark. But this is bigger than you and bigger than the lives of everyone on this station. Sir, final preparations for attack are wrapping up. Looks like it ends here. At this point, it's all just dead weight. Isaac, what did he mean? What did he mean when he said dead weight? He's using the solar beam. We gotta stop the transport now. Oh, shit. I bet we're gonna end up on the Ishimura to our left. He's cut the station in half. There's no track to get across on. Back us up. Back us up to the station. What? Why? Just do it, Ellie. Hurry. The Ishimura. If the gravity tethers are still functional, I can... You can snag off second, drag it back? Isaac, this is ridiculous. If I can line the tracks up just for a few seconds, you should be able to get the transport across. Stay ready. And take care of Strauss. Isaac, no! This is a really bad idea. I'll stick around. I'm full of bad ideas. Like, blowing up that entire room. Of course, we were never gonna make it to GovSec. It's just a JPEG. But then again, so was the place we came from. They deloaded the entire station into a... We're in like a big sphere of texture. You see that? How it curves around us? It's really weird. I guess the Xbox 360 could not handle rendering the whole station at once. Alright, time to revisit the past. So hopefully not the whole ship, because it's a pretty big goddamn ship. Considering the whole first game was set on it. think that the Ishimura is actually the safest place to be, because there shouldn't have been any people on it when the outbreak started, but of course there's going to be necromorphs on it. Well, here it is. The docking bay. There should still be a computer in the, uh, the flight lounge. I, I can check the ship's status from there. Are you okay? You sound a little nervous. Last time I was here, things didn't go so well. Look, I'll contact you soon. I noticed that there doesn't seem to be the wreckage of the Kellyan in here anymore. Or this is not the same docking bay. The Ishimura does have multiple. Something is purring over there. Looks like Peng is also not here. But we did already get Peng. Hmm. This room used to be full of lockers. No, there's still one. The purpose of all this, like, biohazard sheeting they just taped to the walls is? Is it just supposed to be sterile? <laughs> I'm probably gonna need to stock up at healing on the next store we find. I have basically none right now. Gravity and life support on reserve power. Primary systems offline. Main centrifuge offline for repairs. Damn it. That's what I thought. What? The gravity centrifuge is under repair. I'm gonna have to go down to engineering. This should be interesting. 
Is it safe? I don't know how it could be. I'll let you know. I mean, if the gravity center fuges off, doesn't that mean there shouldn't be any artificial gravity at all? Or is that just for the tethers? There is definitely a necromorph around here. I can hear it. Surprisingly, she didn't actually appear there. She's just whispering in our head now. If I had the seeker rifle, I might be able to read that, but mostly covered up. Contact beam is not a weapon you should have in an elevator. <laughs> I think this is the first room you see the, the words cut off the limbs. I mean, it's been a long time since i played Dead Space. Again, I haven't played it since the LP, so... Trying to memorize every little area is not easy. Then again, we did play Dead Space Extraction, which shares some of the areas. Alright, what do we want to upgrade? I mean, you can upgrade the detonator, but, like, it seems kind of perfect the way it is. It even has damage upgrades. But it already does 20 damage, or 20 points of damage. I don't know if that's a one-to-one -one equivalency thing. Contact beam I started putting detonator, or nodes into. I guess we'll put one into charge, so it'll charge up faster. I like that it even has the destroyed conduits that you would have to shoot to open these doors. You know someone's been here already. And that someone is Isaac. Playing old transmissions from the first infection. Oh. I thought this was a pathway, but it's just a closet. I mean, it seems mostly clear in here so far. It's not going to last, but it's a nice break from constantly having necromorphs burst out of every surface. Is that an old log, or is that from the people doing whatever they're doing with the Ishimura?
I don't know if they're like disinfecting it and trying to retrofit it or if they're just studying it for marker bits. I mean, it is ultimately still the flagship of the CEC fleet. What's left of it. Now we're just walking down the tramway. Alright. Got a brute. Wow, I can't tell if that's just not doing anything or it just doesn't look like it's doing anything. How did I kill you last time? I think I just stasis him and shot him. Seeker mines at him. Or seeker shots. Alright, that took off the head. Oh. Okay. He charged and curved while charging around a corner. What am I stuck on? And I got clipped. He like stepped on my toes and my head exploded. Not a lot of room to run past him in this straight corridor. Just trying to save some of my detonator mines, but I guess we'll just hit him with a bunch of those. Problem is, we can't really hit his limbs with those. I guess I could stick one to a wall. Wow, that only heals one section to use one of those little ones now? Or, alternatively, I guess we can blast him with the contact beam. That should take his limbs off pretty quick. In one shot, it turns out. That's what the contact beam is for. Get the feeling he's probably not going to be the only one in this hallway, though. It's a very long hallway. Blades. Now, yeah, here comes another one. I mean, I like that effect. Him knocking the lights all over the place. Just because they are actual light sources, so seeing it spin around like that looks good. Isaac! Isaac, they're swarming into the ship! Yeah, I know! I'll call you back! Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, there's more behind me. Okay, this is gonna get bad. Shouldn't have crossed the line. Oh, he's not dead. But where are they swarming into the ship from? And also, why? <laughs> There's only one of us here. Well, three of us, I suppose, but... Seemingly, they're coming after me. Is that one still alive, or did another one just spawn? 
it was still alive, it got stomped. Alright, so... If I... Equip this... Disable the mine. Which is handy when you fire them off in panic like that. Assuming you can still reach them. I'm out of healing again. There you go. Now I have a better flashlight. Did I do that? I feel like that light just smashed a bunch of other windows. Stasis recharge. Okay, there's a power node over there. our way up. Now let's make sure to grab this. Okay, no Ellie, it isn't safe. But I'm on my way to the centrifuge. Just be careful. I'll call you when it's online. I take it when they swarmed into the ship, they just completely ignored Ellie. Just ran right past the shuttle. So if this is engineering, then this would have been where the screen where you see Nicole kill herself is in Extraction. Warning. The engineering deck has not completed final cleanup and decontamination. But maybe not, because they definitely don't go through the central section. You know, because almost every deck has one of these rooms right here. So, maybe it just doesn't line up one-to-one. -one. Okay, we got a store, we got a save point. I would say this is probably a good place to end it, but I feel like this episode's been pretty short so far. Should really start timing these. But then again, this game has a good enough pace that I feel that it works for shorter episodes, because for some games, you know, my episodes end up being like an hour just because they're slower paced, so you gotta spend more time to make some progress. Alright, do we have anything to sell? Got one diamond semiconductor. Where the hell did we find that? Worth a lot of credits. 110,000. I think we're pretty space rich at the moment. The CEC definitely doesn't pay that well. Realize we still had detonator mines in the safe. Alright, so... I think we're doing alright on ammo for the moment. It's really just health that we're... short on. I think a Necronorf just spawned behind us. I heard a roar. Buy two of these instead of one large. That way, if I get to half health, I can heal up. I don't think that Necromorph I heard was in this room, and it might have actually just been background noise as, you know, to spook you. Buy a power node as well. I want to keep a decent backlog of money just so that when we get our next suit upgrade, we'll probably be able to afford it. Let's just go that way. I'm still carrying pulse rifle ammo. Put that away. No reason to be wasting a slot. Force energy, store... I think we picked up a few of these just walking around. And we have a bunch of ammo we don't need. Alright, so... I my energy. I'm a little low on again. So detonator mines, they're kind of expensive. But not really. Buy a bit of those. 
like two packs of plasma. And we can't even buy contact beam energy yet. Make sure everything's loaded. Dr. Heidi Latchford, research summary organic material analysis. There are several shocking findings relating to the sludge-like material found throughout the Ishimura. First, it is human DNA. Second, and far more disturbing, it reanimates in the presence of a marker signal. The only conclusion we can come to is that the entire Ishimura crew was infected and reconstructed and then fell into a soupy DNA sludge when the Aegis 7 marker was destroyed. Okay, so yeah, they do melt into sludge, but kind of reform necromorphs when a signal is around. The signal is essentially the blueprint that allows them to build themselves into necromorph forms. So I guess Isaac being on the ship would actually cause necromorphs to start spawning from all the goop. I mean, it kind of looks like they removed a lot of the goop. Because if it was left unchecked, it would have spread to most of the ship by the end of the game. Decontamination. Oh boy, it's this room again. I remember this from Dead Space 1. It's one of the more tedious parts, where they just throw a hundred necromorphs at you in a small room. Come on, bastards. I know you're coming. Or it's a fake-out, and they want me to think they're coming. It was a fake out. There was some vent breaking sounds there, but they're just there to fuck with you. Okay, we have two more extra nodes. That is not the right interact key. I really have to standardize my E and F keys. Because even right now, I'm playing a bunch of games where both E and F are interact, so... Forget which one's which. I kind of want to put a point into this. Air hasn't been a problem, but... I don't know. It seems like I would need too many points to make anything useful out of rig upgrades. That seems more like a long-term... You know, multiple playthroughs kind of upgrade. If we get here, we can get the special upgrade for the Plasma Cutter. And we don't need to unlock everything for that, we just need to go, you know, four nodes in this direction. So I guess we'll work towards that. Not sure that setting necromorphs on fire is the most useful. Fire doesn't really seem to bother them that much. Stalker. He got pinned on him. Trying to run past him. There's also a lurker that was behind me, so let's maybe take that out first. Or... Wait, did they switch sides? I just noticed that the puker has like an extra leg coming out of his leg. Well, that was a waste of ammo. Hmm. 
The Ripper is definitely not the way to go. I considered it for about a second. Shit, there's another lurker behind me. Come here, little shit snack. I put my finger on the wrong spot. That's why you don't take your fingers off the walk key when you're fighting. Uh-oh. Bad sound behind me. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a very nasty hallway. I'm like trying not to waste ammo, but also trying not to take damage. Obviously, I'm failing at both of those. Let's just spend some ammo. Blast him with our good stuff. Okay, they switch sides again, so I guess that is slightly randomized? I guess we could just let them come to us. Didn't expect him to come through the door. Heard the detonator go off though, so that should have taken out the puker. Well, that was a waste. Turns out if you left click, it just pulls out another blade. Even if there's already one up. I've been trying to hit the secondary fire while I have one out, but it's kind of hard to do left click, right click, and middle click at the same time. I need to do the, the three fingered claw to try that. Being a claw, I think I'll take this with me. <laughs> See, usually he does, like, a fatal animation when he pulls them off of them. But I guess since it's an enhanced one, he can't just tear it apart with his hands. And yet, ironically, I was going this way to find some more ammo. Instead, I just ended up spending more ammo. What the hell is this? It's just a roll of plastic. <laughs> hmm, they clearly didn't get rid of all the meat on the ship. <laughs> Jesus, how many of them are there? Dropping big money. Just wanted this power node. Wow, what a surprise the insulation didn't do anything. Take one of these big pregnant claws. Infinitely spawning now?
spawn. Okay. They are just spawning constantly in this hallway. Putting away your claws. Oh well. This is bad. Where are you going? I demand revenge for that slap and run. That's what you call rip and tear until it is done. <laughs> Fucking god damn necromorph horde. I really don't know if I was supposed to just try to run past them. Because that was a lot. From both sides. And like the worst thing that can happen to you in this game is getting surrounded because you really can't fight in two directions in this game. Detonator mines would have been a good idea. Wish I had thought of that while I was panicking and running. Alright, what fresh hell do you have for me now? Entering zero gravity. Uh, I think this is the centrifuge. We'll save that for next time. I think after getting through Hell Hallway, this is a good time to end the episode. But I think we made some good progress that time. And we are now back aboard the Ishimura. So we can't be that much farther from the government sector. Like I said, I knew the Ishimura was in this game, but I didn't know where it would fit in. So, now that we've reached it, I know there can't be too much game left. Anyhow, thanks for joining me, and I hope I'll see you next time as we continue to explore Isaac's past ship. Well, I guess it's not his ship, but it was a ship from his past. Alright, take care, folks.